So how do you, how do you balance that, that long-term strategic vision with that tactical need of getting something done now? Yeah. Yeah, it, it looks like you're building the plane while you're flying it um, in uh, in this case, which is a very common theme in a business, especially fast moving business and uh, making that happen. Um, now, if you if you if you want to balance this, uh, it's a, it's a two stage approach. And the first stage is about short term revenue. Right. So what is it you can do to build short term revenue in your organization? And uh, what I uh, I always tell my clients. If you want to do this well, the fastest way of doing it is uh, we call this the Michelangelo approach. And Michelangelo approach is named, of course, after Michelangelo, the famous 15th century sculpture, and he made David. And it's in Firenze, it's a beautiful statue, one of the most beautiful statues ever made. And the story goes that Michelangelo made David, and uh, people came to him and said, Michelangelo, this is magnificent. How did you make it? And Michelangelo said, well, I had this huge piece of marble. And I envisioned Michelangelo hidden inside, and I simply took out everything which was not David. And simply take one thing which was not David. And this is a great approach if you want to optimize an organization in a quick way. So it's not about more and faster and better. No, no, no. It's about taking out everything which is not your David. And it's often the superior approach of making a rapid, rapid changes which will build revenue. Uh, the trick to building the, the, the long-term structure for success uh, is, is a concept which is, um, which is uh, called a pre-mortem. Pre and this is a very interesting, uh, almost secret in, uh, in the world of high performance. What is a pre-mortem? A pre-mortem is the opposite of a post-mortem. Uh, what you do with a post-mortem, you fail miserably, and then as a team you look at why did we fail miserably, right? Now, with a pre-mortem, you do something differently as a leader when you come in. You look at your strategy, a strategy is being made, or maybe you're making a strategy, and once it's done, once it's there, then you bring the team together and you say, imagine three years from now, uh, we have failed so miserably that uh, the Harvard Business Review wants to write a business case about us, yeah, about the failures that we've made, right? Now imagine that happens. So journalists are coming in, yeah? so what are you going to tell the journalists? And then teams start to think, oh, well, uh, we uh, were not uh, involved in understanding competition. We didn't do any market research. Uh, we were burning through cash, etc., etc., etc. So once you list all the reasons why you failed in a miserable way, then ask your team the next question, what should be a process or a system to prevent failure? What should be a process or system to prevent all these failures? And imagine uh, we didn't look at the competition. So a process or system to prevent failure is to do market research, right? to have some kind of system to do market research. And that's the interesting part of a strategy. Once you identify the processes or systems which are needed to prevent failure, you will set yourself up for success, long-term success.